Hello there mga tropa peeps This is a how to video for knowing the chipset or processor of your Android smartphone The Android smartphone featured in this video is the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 which I did an unboxing video in this channel If you have not seen the video yet, please click on the link at the end of this video. Now let's go on with this video. First, we need the CPU-Z app installed in your Android smartphone. Make sure you are connected to the internet. Here I'm going to connect this phone to the Wi-Fi that I have. Okay. Now connected, let's go to the Google App Store. Type the C P U. Okay, the Google search automatically detects or recommends the CPU Z app, which is now here. Let's click install. Okay, the installation will depend on the speed of your internet and the speed of your phone. Now installing. One installed, now we can click open. Okay. In the CPU Z app, you can now see that your Samsung Galaxy Note 20 as the Samsung Exynos processor. So the Samsung Exynos 990 2.73 GHz. It also shows here its core which is octa core. So you have two ARM Cortex dash 876 at 2.50 GHz chipset for ARM Cortex text dash a55 at 2.50 gigahertz to samsung exynos m5 at 2.73 gigahertz process at 7 nanomilliseconds clock speed is at 2.73 gigahertz so it also shows here your gpu which is made by arm gpu chipset is mali dash g77 what else can we see in the cpz the CPU-Z also shows the model number for the chipset, which is SM-N981B. Manufacturer is Samsung. This is because Exynos is made by Samsung. Also shows here the screen resolution. The screen size is 6.7 inches. Total RAM is 8 megabyte. Uh, internal storage is 256. Uh, that's the choice here because your child storage has already been used by your app that was installed. Android version is 10. That also shows here the security patch level. What else? It also shows here the battery is in good health. It's now 33%. So we need to charge this phone. And it's lithium ion. It shows the temperature, current temperature of your battery, voltage, and you also have a thermal, no thermal sensors. Also shows here the different sensors that this Galaxy phone have. Okay, this is it guys for this video. Okay guys, I hope you like this video. If you are new to this channel and you like this kind of video, Please do like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be updated of my future video uploads. If you have comments or suggestions, please put it on the comment below. Thank you for watching and bye for now.